Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how to get PDF data into Excel super quick? Well, today I'm going to show you a very quick function called get data. Let's see how to get this done. Okay, so you have a PDF with a lot of data and what you want to do with the data is take it over into Excel. Now, you probably have done this in the past where you take the data, you copy it and then you transfer it into Excel. This is very messy and this is something that you're going to have to do a lot of data manipulation and then try to split up a lot of the data to get it back into a table. This is not the right way to do it. The easier way to do it is we go back into the PDF, we have a look at the page which is 4 out of 70 and now what we're going to do is use the function called get data all the way in Excel what we need to do is go over to the fifth tab, which is called data. Simply go to get data from the file and we go across to the PDF. Now, if it's a big file, click into the file that you want. If it's a big file, the data can take a little bit of time to come through. And now we have a dialog box here where it's scrolling through the PDF and looking for all the possible tables that can be imported into Excel. Now the dialog box brings up all of the tables that are available for importing. So you can have a look. It goes all the way up the, to the 70th page. Now what we wanted to extract is table on page number four. So let's try to import this table here which is table number one which appears on page four and this would be as a table number two. Now, if we go back into Excel, we can go over to page four and we can look at the second table. So that would be the 10th table of the document. And you can actually look at the preview here. So if we go down to there, we can continue as we find the correct data for us. So if this is the correct data, what we need to do is transform the data, because as you can see here, you have some of the columns that don't appear to the top. So what we want to do is we want to add the columns or the headers that are here into the columns. So you can transform your data, you can remove ranges, you can add, delete columns, and you can manipulate the data right here in Power Query Editor right before you import it directly into Excel. So one of the first things that we want to do is take the headers from column three all the way to six into the headers. So we have the function here, use first row as headers, and we just click on that. And there we have, we have the data there. Now we want to remove these two columns. So we can just go here and remove the column and here and remove the column. So what we have here is we could even remove the data here, remove the row. Okay, so now all of the data that's not relevant has completely gone. Close and load. And you can see that Excel is importing the data. So it just needs a bit of time to import. And there you go. You have your data directly from a PDF into Excel. If we just make this a little bit bigger here, you can have a look that you have all the data here formatted as a table and you can do whatever manipulation you want on the data. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.